In this tutorial, I'd like to show you AutoSplit from Hawaii. AutoSplit is a powerful, flexible split screen creation effect with unique menu driven animation. Not only is setting up the animation incredibly fast, it's also extremely easy to change your mind and go for something completely different. Auto Split not only gives you the most versatile split screen layout functionality on the market, it also gives you an animation function that no other effect can compete with. I'm in Final Cut Pro 10, but Auto Split also works in Motion, After Effects, and Premiere Pro. You can find it in the Effects browser under Hawaii Auto Split. Auto Split comes with two separate effect modules for you to choose from the classic effect for creating an almost limitless number of different rectangular grids in the classic split screen formation, and the extended effect, which includes a variety of shapes based on triangles that can be combined to form many different layouts. On my timeline, I have four clips I'd like to arrange using the classic effect. I'll use the on-screen presets drop-down menu to choose the C1 preset for three clips I'd like to have on the top half of the screen. In the parameters, I'll use the X position slider to move the second clip to the middle and the third clip to the right. Next, I'll use the Y position slider for each clip to move them to the top row. On my last clip, I'll choose the C4 preset and leave it in its default position. I can use the image offset sliders to reposition the images within their boxes and frame them exactly the way I want. You can also use the image scale parameter to push in if you'd like. Now we'll look at the animation parameters. You can have any or all of the boxes fade in or out by simply checking the corresponding checkbox. The speed and direction of the incoming and outgoing animations are easily configured using the drop-down menus and sliders. You can make these as simple or as complex as you'd like. Under the style category, you can adjust the border width, color, and opacity using the corresponding controls. The roundness sliders can help you achieve a unique look with lots of control over the look of the corners of the boxes. And lastly, if you want to smooth the motion of your animation, use the drop-down menu to select a motion blur value. Now let's take a quick look at the extended effect. Using the shape selection menu, choose from the wide range of options for the first clip. Then fill in the rest of the grid using the appropriate shapes, which I'll flip and flop as necessary. With easy-to-use menu-driven animation and fully customizable grid parameters, AutoSplit from Hawaii harnesses a wealth of powerful automated processes to make your split-screen animation projects much easier and more enjoyable than ever before. FX Factory offers a huge selection of great effects, and if you don't have them yet, I suggest you go try them out at fxfactory.com.